Okay, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are at Oracle Park, the formerly AT&T Park, recently named uh, Oracle Park right on the uh, the shores of McCovey Cove in downtown San Francisco. We haven't been here since Sports Data, I think 2014. I can't believe it's been five years, so maybe now the Giants uh, situation will turn as we make a run for the, for the pennant. We're here at a really interesting event. It's called Sports Tech Tokyo World Demo Day, and we're here with kind of the uh, master of ceremonies, if you will. He's Mike Proman, the managing director of Scrum Ventures. Mike, great to see you. Great to have be here. Thanks again for the time. Absolutely. So what is this day all about? Give us the, uh, the lowdown. Yeah, so, you know, Startup frenzy, right? The sports tech community is just in its infancy right now. Um, there's a lot of fragmentation, though, in this world. And how do we best connect this startups to best-in-class companies, right? Japanese companies. There's a lot of excitement in Japan right now. We have Rugby World Cup coming up next month. We have the Olympics next year. How do we enable this startup community to realize those opportunities from a partnership perspective? So we set out in this journey about a year ago bringing together companies of all different stages, all different geographic regions, and all different areas of focus within sports tech. And our job was to connect them to opportunities in Japan. Um, what we kind of uncovered along the journey, right, is that this is a community and, and that we're building a platform here that transcends Asia, right? We want to help this community and whether it's connecting them with the venture audience or otherwise, we feel this is a great reflection of innovation coming into this industry. Now you you took kind of an interesting tack. You've, you've called it before we turned the cameras on kind yeah. of a cohort, yeah. kind of an incubator, not yep. really an incubator. So how you know how is this thing structured? How do people sure. get involved? You know what are some of the benefits of being part yep. of this group versus you know out there slogging it on your own? Well, absolutely, and I think everyone's first reaction is, oh, this is just another accelerator, right? And we've really made a point of not identifying ourselves as an accelerator for a variety of reasons. Number one, it's a stage agnostic cohorts, right? So a lot of the companies that are representative here today, the 159 in our cohort, they've raised 10, 20, 30, 40 million dollars. In many respects, they're all grows up, right? They don't need a quote unquote a traditional accelerator. But our reality is everybody needs acceleration, and particularly in Asia, Japan in particular, right? You need allies, you need advocates, you need facilitators, and people who are going to help revenue optimization, as well as just break in the door in some cases. There's a lot of high profile content coming to that region, and if we can be the best, help people, it all comes back to us long term. Right, right. And then the other piece obviously is the investment piece, because you yep. work with, uh, I think, a number of Japanese sure. uh, investment firms, so that's really kind of part of the, you know, we're sitting in San Francisco, the event's yep. called Tokyo, the Olympics are a year away, and yep. you're from the Midwest, so <laughs> kind of uh, bringing it all together exactly. here in San Francisco. You know, sport is a great unifier, right? So right. We, this is a great opportunity for us to speak to other industries and, and bring the venture community into this conversation because as you know, it's about top line growth for a lot of these startups, but in many cases, they need capital to be able to accelerate into that growth. Right, right. And so, you know, it's a very exciting time um, and we're here to, to help support everybody. Our DNA, we're investors, right? We're a venture capital firm. But at the end of the day, what ends up happening is these companies needs advocacy and connections and that's what we're here to provide. Right. So you, you said 100 plus uh, companies yep. in the in cohort. So there's a lot of things going on in sports tech, but what are some of the really kind of oddball ones that, sure. that you're seeing a little further out than maybe most people aren't thinking about? Yeah, you know, the trends to me that I'm really excited about personally are those opportunities that transcend the industry, right? Where is there opportunity for us to democratize things from just elite athletes, right, into things that you and I both need? So look, look at athlete performance, look at recovery health as a, as a industry focus, right? Hydration. Um, you look at mental health, sleep health, dietary health, you know, players at the Giants, they need that, right? But you and I need that too. So where are those technologies that are kind of innovators or thought leaders and leading the way in those spaces? The nice thing about Sports Tech Tokyo is we focus in athlete performance, stadium experience, and fan engagement, right? And there are 13 subcategories, so it's a very broad-based cohort, a lot of different areas of expertise, but bringing them all together is what's most rewarding. Right. What's your favorite piece of it? I mean, <laughs> it's hard to pick your favorite kid, yeah. but a couple of, of sure. interesting companies in the portfolio that you'd like to highlight. You know, it's it, it, I, I, everyone's always, you know, saying, oh, you put me on the spot. No, absolutely not, Jeff. But, you know, in, in reality, I think I, I, my background is I've been an entrepreneur, right, for 10 plus years before this, and I worked with brands like Coca-Cola and the NBA. 
what excites me so most. We framed you up with a Coke oh, bottle, by the way. Thank you very much. That was a <laughs> nice product placement there. Um, the, the, the nice thing is I'm seeing technology today that didn't fundamentally exist a year or two ago. So I could tell you my favorite right now. In two weeks, that might be entirely different, right? You're going to meet somebody from Misapplied Sciences, and they are doing some of the most breakthrough, cutting-edge tech that, you know, it's, it, it's mind-boggling in terms of what they can do. And what's great about a company like Misapplied is that they're doing it in sports, but they're also doing it in retail and either on other high dense environments. And so to me, those are the winners in this in this cohort, the ones that can transcend sport and add value to so many other places. Right. So before I let you go, you got a busy day ahead. Yeah. What's kind of the run of the day? What should people sure. expect who are, are coming through the gates here at Oracle today? Well, I said this is uh, this is not your traditional accelerator. Well, this is not your traditional demo day by any means, right? Um, traditionally, demo day is a bunch of company pitches, and then there's maybe some conversation afterwards. To us, this is a celebration of a broader cohort, right? Our 100 plus mentors that make up the Sports Tech Tokyo community. And we wanted to celebrate those individuals, right? The 100 mentors, the 400 plus attendees we have here today. So think of it as an extended cocktail party, right? We want people to connect and connect at scale. And so that's the back half of the day. The front half of the day is more content oriented. We have a lot of industry experts. Again, common theme is transcending the vertical, looking at opportunities to bring the venture community into the conversation. All right, well, Mike, uh, good luck and uh, have a great and very busy day. Yeah, thank you so much. All Appreciate right. it, Jeff. He's Mike, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at Oracle Park in San Francisco on the shores of McCovey Cove. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.